Okay, fifth graders, we're starting 3-5, chapter 3, section 5, and we're now multiplying three-digit numbers um, by two-digit numbers. So things are getting a little more complicated. And you can um, multiply these again using what they call the standard algorithm and, uh, and find the answer, or you can use... Um, the, the partial products way. I mean, either either one will work. Um, so, I mean, let's look at the partial products first, the way they've uh, done these. So let me show you here. So the, the first number we're going to look at is the 2. That's in the, in the 1's place. And we're multiplying that 2 by 9. 2 by 9. The 9's in the 1's place. I'm going to put 1's here. And this is 10's. And this is hundreds. All right, so keep that in mind. So 2 times 9, what's that? That's going to be 18, and they have it there. Then the 2 times the 8, which is in the tens place, that's really 2 times 80. Well, what's 2 times 80? You can see it right here. It's 160. And then we have 2 times 3, which is actually in the hundreds place. So that's 2 times 300. They have it here. Well, what's 2 times 300? That's 600. So we're done with the, using the 2. Now we're going to use the 1, this one right here. And that 1 is in the tens place. So it's actually 10. Well, what's 10 times 9? 10 times 9 is 90. And then uh, 10 times the 8, which is in the tens place. So that's 10 times 80. Well, what's 10 times 80? That's 800. And then finally, we have that 10, the 1, in the tens place, uh, times um, 300. So 10 times 300, what is that? That's 3,000. And you can see it there. Then you just add them all up. And what do you get? You get 4,668. Now, you can get the very same answer using the standard algorithm. And you would just set it up as 389 multiplied by 12. And they show you the steps there. And you're going to get the exact same answer. Either way will work, whichever one you're the most comfortable with and I've got to turn off my alarm here there we go I want to make sure this is still recording is that recording yes it's still recording okay so um, going down to the please convince me or convince me it says is 300 times 10 a good estimate for the number of bagels sold well it's um, uh, 10 would work in place of the 12. 300 would not work very well. I think um, I, I would say no. Um, 389 is closer to 400 than 300. So um, I, I would have done 10 times 400, and I think most of you would have done that also. Okay, so the guided practice, the next page, um, a theater can seat 540 people at one time. How many tickets are sold if the theater sells out every seat for one 30-day month? All right, well, let's do this two ways here. Let's do the standard algorithm. So that's going to be 540, and that's going to be times 30. Okay, so 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 4 is 0, and 0 times 5 is 0. Remember, anything times 0 was 0. Now we're going to drop a line, and remember, we'll um, always move over 1. So we're not going to uh, put anything in this first spot here. Um, and you want to keep things lined up, that's really important. So 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 4 is 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. And now we just add them up. Just go straight down. 
the zero is zero and the two zeros are zero and the zero and two is two and the six and the one and put a comma 16,200 now let's do the same thing let's do the same thing using um, partial products so that's 540 times 300 I'm sorry times 30 so um, I don't even have to worry about the zero the first zero here because everything's going to be zero it doesn't matter so I'm going to jump right to the three which is not actually a three it's in the tens place correct so um, three times zero or I'm sorry I should say 30 times zero is zero and then 30 times and that's not not a four that's a 40 it's in the in the tens place right so 30 times 40 what's 30 times 40 um 30 times 40 well what's three times four you know that to be 12 how many zeros did we not factor in two zeros so 30 times 40 is 1200 and then the three times five what's three times five that's going to be 15 but it's not 3 times 5 it's actually 30 times 500 30 times 500 equals well 3 times 5 is 15 we already said that how many zeros did we not factor in add three zeros so um, it's going to be 1 5 and then three zeros what do we do we just add them up 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 and 2 is 2, 5 and 1 is 6, and then 1. 1,000, um, I'm sorry, uh, 16,200. Look at that, it's the same. So either way will work. Either way will work, whatever you're most comfortable with. So I, I would say at, at this point, you guys are, are on your own. Um, we answered number one here. Um, is 500 times 30 a good estimate? Um, yes, I, I think it would be. I'll put down yes, uh, because um, 540, 540 is closer to 500 than 600. Forgive the sloppy writing. Okay, um, three, three through six, find each product, estimate to check to see that your answer is reasonable. I'm not worried that you estimate anything. Just go ahead and solve each one. Seven through 18, find each product, estimate to check to see if your answer is reasonable. I'm not worried about you doing that. So you guys should be able to do all those. Let's go to the uh, problem solving, take a quick peek. Uh, number 19, how many times does a rabbit's heart beat in one hour uh, per minute? So this is per minute. Um, how many minutes are in an hour? There's 60. So if a rabbit does 60 beats in a minute, I'm sorry, if a rabbit does um, 212 beats in a minute whoo that's fast um in an hour it's going to be 60 times that so it's going to be 212 times 60. uh number 20 in an in one hour how many more times does a rabbit's heart beat than a dog's heart beat okay so you're going to have to figure out a dog a dog is 100 times 60 and then you're going to have to figure out the difference between each one obviously the rabbit's going to be more so you're going to subtract the dog's heartbeat from the rabbit and that will show you how many more times a rabbit's heartbeat uh, is more than a dog so you're going to subtract um, I'll put down rabbit Subtracting dog equals, it's going to be a number, and that's going to be the answer to number 20. 
All right, uh, let's see here. The last uh, three or four. Um, you can answer 21 on your own, I think. A garden, 22 garden store sells plants and flats. There are six plants in each tray, and each flat has six trays. The garden store sold 18 flats on a Saturday and 21 on a Sunday. How many more? How many? plants did the garden store sell in all well first off let's back up here there are six plants in each tray so i'm gonna i'm gonna draw here's a tray and i'm gonna put a six in it each flat has six trays so i'm gonna draw a flat now this equals a flat and this is a tray and let me make sure we have this right each flat has six trays so I'm going to draw six trays in here one two three four five six how many are in each tray six in each tray um, so what's the total in a flat? Well, what's six times six? It's going to be 36. And, um, I can still just make note of that here. Um, 36. And then it says each flat has six trays. The garden store sold 18 flats on a Saturday. 18 flats and then 21 flats on a Sunday 18 flats on Saturday and then 21 on Sunday how many did it sell in all well um, if it sold just one flat how many would it have sold 36 if it sold two flats, it would be 36 times two. If it sold three, it'd be 36 times three. But how many did they actually sell? They sold 18 on one day, so it's gonna be 36 times 18. That's for Saturday. For Sunday, what would it be? It'd be 21 times 18. Oh, I'm sorry, whoop, 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 whoop. It'd be 20, back up here. On a Sunday, it would be 36 times 21. Okay. The 36 is each flat. How many flats they sold each day? That's the 18 here. And then 21 here. All right. Um, that was 22, 23. Yeah, you could do that one. Just multiplying those two. What's the product? Yep. Okay. That's it, you guys. Shouldn't take you too long to do these. And uh, we will grade this. Since you didn't have any homework um, on over the weekend, except for those quizzes and the test. No, quizzes, actually. Um, this will be due on Tuesday morning. We will grade this Tuesday morning. That's it. Talk to you guys later.